I'm here to talk about Adam, and I have to say that this is feels like one of the most important books I've written. It came out of a desire of mine to awaken ordinary people's understanding of the supernatural in a very, very real way. The way I decided to do that was through demon possession, a story in which my character, Daniel, enters this world that totally takes him by surprise, unless he himself can discover uh, the realities of the supernatural world around him. He is totally messed up. There's something about dealing with demon possession that is very, very disturbing. If you truly find yourself in the darkness and a light comes on, you, you are dr drawn to that light. I had someone recently who read the book said, I'm sleeping with the lights on these nights. And when that doesn't work, I'm just praying harder. LOL. And uh, I thought, wow, that's exactly what I intended with this book. Not something that's going to scare people to death necessarily at all, but one that is going to drive them to the light. As part of my research for this novel, I read this, this book called Hostage to the Devil, The Possession and Exorcism of Five Contemporary Americans. These five stories are so disturbing, so real, uh, that they, you cannot read them. You cannot read them and walk away unchanged. I had to leave the lights on. I was so disturbed by what I was reading, just because it was so real. This is a different book, but it has ultimately the same kind of appeal, and I think will appeal to the same kind of person. There's a real CSI feel to this, because the story is about a serial killer who's been killing victims, and we're trying to understand how they're dying. It couldn't just be another story about demon possession. It had to feel very, very real. It had to be rooted in real forensic science, not the church at all. What, what's the real evidence for this? Because if you can show that Demon possession is a very, very real phenomenon that cannot be explained by psychology or by any other form of science. You go a long way to persuading somebody that they need to maybe revisit their entire world view. I encourage all of you to read this book. It's different. It feels very, very real. It's like you're reading true crime. In many ways, it feels nonfiction. I think it will affect uh, hopefully millions of people who end up reading it once it comes out. So thank you very much. Thank you.